This sound file contains the spoken version of a Wikipedia article on Final Fantasy VI, recorded by user Mantisian. The material recorded is current as on the 2nd of February, 2010. Final Fantasy VI from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. Final Fantasy VI, also known as Final Fantasy III in North America when it was first released, is a console role-playing game developed and published by Square, now Square Enix. It was released in 1994 for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System as part of the Final Fantasy series. It was ported by TOSE with minor differences to Sony's PlayStation in 1999 and Nintendo's Game Boy Advance in 2006. Set in a fantasy world with a technology level equivalent to that of the Second Industrial Revolution, the game's story focuses on a group of rebels as they seek to overthrow an imperial dictatorship. The game features 14 permanent playable characters, the most of any game in the main series. Final Fantasy VI was the first game in the series to be directed by someone other than producer and series creator Hironobu Sakakuchi. The role was filled instead by Yoshinori Kitase and Hiko Yuti Ito. Yokitasha Amano, a longtime contributor to the Final Fantasy series, returned as the image and character designer, while regular composer Nobuo Uematsu wrote the game's score, which has been released on several soundtrack albums. Released to critical acclaim, the game is regarded as a landmark of the series and of the role-playing genre. Its Super Nintendo and PlayStation versions have sold over 3.48 million copies worldwide to date as a standalone game, as well as over 750,000 copies as part of the Japanese Final Fantasy Collection and the North American Final Fantasy Anthology. Final Fantasy VI has won numerous awards since its release. The article contains eight sections. These sections are 1. Gameplay Subsection 1. Combat Subsection 2. Customization 2. Plot Subsection 1. Setting Subsection 2. Characters Subsection 3. Story 3. Development Subsection 1. Graphics Subsection 2. Localization 4. Music 5. Re-releases Subsection 1. PlayStation Subsection 2. Game Boy Advance 6. Reception Subsection 1. Legacy 7. References 8. External links The article has been provided with an information box containing material of interest to the reader. The information box has the following information. At the beginning is an image. The image has the caption, Japanese Super Famicom box art. The North American version displayed a 3 instead of a 6. Below the image, the following information is provided. Developer, Square, TOSE for the PS1 and Game Boy Advance. Publisher, on the Super NES, Square. On the PlayStation, in Japan, Square. In North America, Square Electronic Arts. In Europe, Sony Computer Entertainment. On the Game Boy Advance, in Japan, Square Enix. In North America and Europe, Nintendo. Designers, Hironobu Sakaguchi. Yoshinori Kitase. Hiroyuki Ito. Artists, Yoshitaka Amano. Tetsuya Nomura. Writers, Yoshinori Kitase. Composer, Nobuo Uematsu. Series, Final Fantasy. Platforms, Super Nintendo Entertainment System. PlayStation, Game Boy Advance. Release date, April 2, 1994. Genre, console role-playing game. Modes, single-player and multiplayer. 
Ratings on the PlayStation, ELSPA 11+, plus. ESRB T for Teen, OFLC M15+, plus. USK 12+, plus. Game Boy Advance, Sarah A, all ages, ESRB E10+, plus. everyone 10 and older, PEGI 7+. Plus. Media, 24 megabit cartridge on the SNES, 1 CD-ROM on the PlayStation, 64 megabit cartridge on the Game Boy Advance. Input methods, gamepad. Section 1. Gameplay. Like previous Final Fantasy installments, Final Fantasy VI consists of four basic modes of gameplay, an overworld map, town and dungeon field maps, a battle screen, and a menu screen. The overworld map is a scaled-down version of the game's fictional world, which the player uses to direct characters to various locations. As with most games in the series, the three primary means of travel across the overworld are by foot, chocobo, and airship. With a few plot-driven exceptions, enemies are randomly encountered on field maps and on the overworld when traveling by foot. The menu screen is where the player makes such decisions as which characters will be in the traveling party, which equipment they wield, the magic they learn, and the configuration of the gameplay. It is also used to track experience points and levels. The game's plot develops as the player progresses through towns and dungeons. Town citizens will offer helpful information, and some residents own item or equipment shops. Later in the game, Visiting certain towns will activate side quests. Dungeons appear as a variety of areas, including caves, sewers, forests, and buildings. These dungeons often have treasure chests containing rare items that are not available in most stores. Some dungeons feature puzzles and mazes, which require the player to divide the characters into multiple parties. Subsection 1. Combat Combat in Final Fantasy VI is menu-based, in which the player selects an action from a list of such options as Fight, Magic, and Item. A maximum of four characters may be used in battles, which uses the series' traditional Active Time Battle System, or ATB, which was designed by Hiroyuki Ito and first featured in Final Fantasy IV. Under this system, each character has an action bar that replenishes itself at a rate dependent on their speed statistic. When a character's action bar is filled, the player may assign an action. In addition to standard battle techniques, each character possesses a unique special ability. For example, Locke possesses the ability to steal items from enemies, while Selyse's runic ability allows her to absorb most magical attacks cast until her next turn. Another element is a powerful attack substitution that occasionally appears when a character's health is low. Similar features appear in later Final Fantasy titles under a variety of different names, including Limit Breaks, Desperation Moves, Trances, and Overdrives. Characters are rewarded for victorious battles with experience points and money, called Gil, or GP in the original North American localization. When characters attain a certain amount of experience points, they gain a level, which increases their statistics. An additional player may play during battle scenarios, with control of individual characters assigned from the configuration menu. Subsection 2. Customization Characters in Final Fantasy VI can be equipped with a wide variety of weapons, armor, and accessories, known as relics to increase their statistics and obtain special abilities. Most of this equipment can be used by several different characters, and each character may equip up to two relics. Relics have a variety of uses and effects, some of which alter basic battle commands, allow characters to use multiple weapons, provide permanent status changes during battle, or use protective magical spells in response to being near death. Only two characters start the game with the ability to use magic. Almost every character can learn to use magic. 
Characters may equip Magicite, which enables the summoning of espers, the game's incarnation of summoned monsters, including several recurring summons, such as Ifrit, Shiva, Bahamut, and Odin, along with many new summons exclusive to Final Fantasy VI, as well as that of specific magic spells. If a character has a piece of Magicite equipped, he or she will gain magic acquisition points after most battles. As a character gains magic acquisition points, or magic AP, he or she gradually learns spells from the Magicite equipped and will gain additional statistic bonuses when leveling up, depending on the Magicite. Section 2. Plot. Subsection 1. Setting. Final Fantasy VI takes place on a large, unnamed world. During the course of the game, its geography and landscape change due to various developments in the game's plot. During the first half of the game, the world is divided into two major continents and referred to as the World of Balance. The northern continent is punctuated by a series of mountain ranges and contains many of the locations accessible to the player. Halfway through the game, the world's geographical layout is altered, resulting in its two large continents splitting into several islands of various size situated around a larger continent at their center. This altered layout of the game's locations is referred to as the World of Ruin. In contrast to the medieval settings featured in previous Final Fantasy titles, Final Fantasy VI is set in a steampunk environment. The structure of society parallels that of the latter half of the 19th century, with opera and fine arts serving as recurring, recurring motifs throughout the game, and a level of technology comparable to that of the Second Industrial Revolution. Railroads are in place, and a coal mining operation is run in the northern town of Narsha. Additionally, several examples of modern engineering and weaponry, such as a chainsaw, power drill, and automatic crossbow, have been developed in the Kingdom of Figaro. However, communication systems have not reached significant levels of development, with letters sent by way of a carrier pigeon serving as the most common means of long-distance communication. One thousand years before the events of the game, three goddesses who served as the source of all magic in the world were at war with one another in a conflict known as the War of the Magi. This quarrel released magical energy into the world, transforming any human touched by it into an esper, who were used as soldiers by the goddesses. Eventually, repenting of the war, the goddesses returned free will to the espers and turned themselves to stone. Their only request was that the espers ensure their power remained sealed so that it could not be misused again. After the war ended, the espers departed to a hidden land, taking the statues of the gods with them and sealing the entrance to their world, leaving behind the remaining humans. Cut off from magic, the humans built a society based on technology. At the opening of the game, the most powerful technology is in the hands of the Empire, a cruel and expanding dictatorship led by Emperor Gestal and his court magi magician Kefka. Approximately 18 years before the events of the game begin, the barrier between the Esper's land and the rest of the world weakened. Soon after, Gestal takes advantage of this and attacks the Esper's land, capturing several of them. Using the Espers as a power source, Gestal initiated a research program to combine magic with machinery and infuse humans with magical powers, the result being a technology known as Magitech. Kefka was infused with magic, becoming one of the prototypes in a line of soldiers called Magitech Knights. The process was still experimental in the prototype phase, and as a result, Kafka's sanity was impaired. At the opening of the game, the Empire is on the verge of rediscovering the full potential of magic by reopening the gateway to the world of the Espers. However, the Empire's rule is opposed by the Returners, a group of rebels seeking to overthrow the Empire and free its territories. Subsection 2. Characters Final Fantasy VI features 14 permanent playable characters, the most of any game in the main series, as well as several secondary characters who are only briefly controlled by the player. The starting character, Tara Branford, 
is a reserved, half-human, half-esper girl who spent most of her life as a slave to the Empire, thanks to a mind-controlling device, and she is unfamiliar with love. Other primary characters include Locke Cole, a treasure hunter and rebel sympathizer with a powerful impulse to protect women. Selye's Chere, a former, a former general of the Empire, who joined the Returners after being jailed for questioning Imperial practices. Edgar Roni Figaro, a consummate womanizer and the king of Figaro, who claims allegiance to the Empire while secretly supplying aid to the Returners. Sabin René Figaro, Figaro, Edgar's brother, who fled the royal court in order to pursue his own path and hone his martial arts skills. Cyan Garamande, a loyal knight to the kingdom of Doma, who lost his family and friends as a result of Kefka poisoning the kingdom's water supply. Setzer Gibiani, a habitual gambler and thrill-seeker. Shadow, a ninja mercenary, who offers his services to both the Empire and the Returners at various stages throughout the game. Realm Arany, a young but tough artistic girl with magical powers. Strago Magus, Realm's elderly grandfather and a blue mage. Gao, a feral child surviving since infancy in the harsh wilderness known as the Velt. Mog, a Mughal from the mines of Narsha. Umaro, a savage but loyal Sasquatch, also from Narsha, talked into joining the Returners through Mog's persuasion, and Gogo, a mysterious, fully shrouded master of the art of mimicry. Most of the main characters in the game hold a significant grudge against the Empire, and in particular Kefka, who serves as one of the game's main antagonists, along with Emperor Gestal. The supporting character, Ultros, serves as a recurring villain and comic relief throughout the game. A handful of Final Fantasy VI characters have reappeared in later games, such as Secret of Evermore and Kingdom Hearts II. Additionally, additionally, Final Fantasy SGI, a short technology demo produced for the Silicon Graphics Onyx workstation, featured polygon-based 3D renderings of Locke, Terra, and Shadow. Subsection 3. Story. Final Fantasy VI begins with Terra Branford participating in an Imperial raid on Narsha in search of a recently unearthed frozen Esper, later identified as Tritoch, Valgi Garmanda in the G GBA retranslation. The Esper was found in the city's mines. However, the Esper kills her controllers and the Imperial control over her is broken, but she is unable to remember anything about her past. Locke Cole, a thief, promises to protect her until she can regain her memories and helps her escape to the hideout of the Returners, a group of militants opposing the Empire. Along the way, they pass through the Kingdom of Figaro and meet Edgar Roni Figaro, the King, and he's estranged brother, Sabin René Figaro, who joined them. Bannon, the leader of the Returners, asks for Terra's help in their struggle against the Empire, and she agrees. Just as the Resistance is preparing to return to Narsha to investigate the Frozen Esper, the Empire attacks South Figaro. Locke heads to the besieged town to slow the Empire's advance, while the rest of the group makes their way via rafting down the nearby Lethe River. However, Sabin is separated from the group after a battle with Ultros, self-proclaimed octopus royalty and a recurring antagonist, forcing the various members of the Returners to find their own ways to Narsha in three different scenarios controlled by the player. In Locke's scenario, he must escape the Imperial-occupied town of South Figaro without detection. Sabin has been swept to a distant continent and must find a way back, while Terra, Edgar, and Bannon will continue to float down the Lethe River back to Narsha. Eventually, the original party reunites in Narsha. Lox brings with him Sele's Chere, one of the Empire's own generals, whom he saved from execution for defying the Empire's ruthless practices. Sabin brings with him Cyan Garamande, 
whose family was killed during the Empire's siege of Doma Castle when Kefka ordered the water supply poisoned, and Gao, a feral child he befriended on the Veldt. In Narsha, the Returners prepare to defend the frozen Esper from the Empire. After the player successfully thwarts the Imperial invasion, Terra approaches the frozen Esper, prompting her to transform into an Esper-like form herself. She flies away, confused and horrified by her own transformation. The Returners set out to search for Terra, and eventually trace her to the city of Zozo, though they are still shocked by her apparent existence as an Esper. There, they find and also meet the, em the Esper Ramu, who tells them if they free various other espers from the Magitech research facility in the Empire's capital, Vector, they may find one who can help Terra. Vector is on the southern continent, to which the Empire does not allow maritime access, so the returners go to the Opera House and recruit Setzer Giovanni, who is believed to be the owner of the Blackjack, the only airship in the world. They then, they then travel to Vector and attempt to rescue several espers, including Maduin, who was revealed to be Terra's father. However, the espers choose instead to give their lives to transform into magicite, the crystallized remains of their essences that form when they die, and allow others to use their powers. Powers which they bestow upon the returners. Before the group can then escape, Kefka arrives and causes the returners, including Locke, to momentarily doubt Celis's loyalty, much to her anguish. However, she provides proof to them of her support by covering for the group while the rest escape. The rest of the group then returns to Zozo, where Terra reacts to the magicite of her father, prompting her to gain knowledge of her past and accept herself as the half-human, half-esper child of Maduin and a human woman. After reuniting with Terra, the Returners decide that it is time to launch an all-out attack on the Empire, and Bannon asks Terra to attempt contacting the Esper's land in order to gain their support. Terra succeeds in making contact, and when the Esper's learn that the others captured by the Empire previously have now perished, they become infuriated and enter the human world, where they destroy much of Vector. When the Returners arrive in the capital, they find Emperor Gestal claiming to no longer have the will to fight, inviting the Returners to a banquet to negotiate peace. Gestal asks Terra to deliver a truce to the Espers on his behalf, to which she agrees. Accompanied by Locke, Shadow, a ninja mercenary hired by the Empire for the mission, and General Seles and Leo, the player must then guide Terra to the remote village Thamasa in search of the Espers, where they meet Strago Magus and his granddaughter, Realm Aroni, who also accompany them. Soon they find the Espers, and Terra convinces them to accept a truce with Gestal. However, during the negotiations, Kefka attacks the Espers, killing each of those still alive, and captures the magicite that remains from their essence. Additionally, he kills General Leo, who is appalled by Kefka's dishonorable tactics and attempts to defend the Espers. The Returners reunite, now aware that the peace was a ploy for Gestal to obtain Magicite, and the stone statue remains of the warring triad within the Esper's now unsealed land. Kefka and Gestal travel through the open gate to the Esper world, find the warring triad, and, a, and prompt the island on which the Esper world is located to detach, and fly in the sky as an ominous, floating continent. The Returners attempt to stop them from causing further damage, but despite their efforts, they are unable to prevent Kefka and Gestal from gaining the power of the statues. Now empowered, Kefka promptly kills Gestal and moves the statues out of their proper alignment, upsetting the balance of magical power and causing the destruction of most of the surface world. In the disaster, the Returners are separated from one another as Setzer's airship is torn apart. One year later, Seles awakes from a coma on a deserted island and learns that the world has been devastated by Kefka. Much of its human population has died, and its plant and animal life are slowly being killed by sickness to punctuate humanity's despair. 
Sally sets out from the solitary island to try and reunite with as many of her friends as she can find. One by one, in a series of mostly optional side quests, the gamer has the opportunity to reunite the group, all still alive, as well as new allies, Umaro and Gogo. Together, the reunited returners launch a new offensive against Kefka, using the Falcon, an airship that belonged to a deceased friend of Setzer's, to reach Kefka's tower and infiltrate it. Once inside, the returners battled their way through Kefka's defenses and destroyed the three statues, the source of Kefka's newfound power. When destroying the statues, once the source of all magic, does not cause any noticeable reaction, the party realizes that Kefka has successfully drained the warring triad of power and has himself become the source of all magical power. Making a final stand against Kefka, the characters successfully destroy him, but since the god's power had come to reside in him, all magicite begins to shatter, and Kefka's magically maintained tower begins to crumble. Terra leads the characters out, as she begins to weaken due to her half-esper heritage. However, before her father's magicite shatters, his spirit informs her that by holding to the human side of herself, she may survive the passing of magic. In the end, the party escapes Kefka's tower aboard the Falcon. Terra survives, and the group observes the world's communities rejuvenating themselves. Section 3. Development. Subsection 1. Graphics. Yoshitaka Amano, a longtime contributor to the Final Fantasy series, returned as the image and character designer. Amano provided concept sketches to the programmers, who converted them into the sprites featured in the game due to technical limitations of the time. Liberties were taken during the conversion, such as changing Tara Branford's hair from blonde to green, and changing Celis Cherry's outfit entirely. Amano also designed the title logo. The graphics were directed by Tetsuya Takahashi, the graphic chief, Hideo Minaba, Hideo Minaba background graphics, Kazuo Shibuya, object graphic, and Tetsuya Nomura, designer for some characters. In the full motion videos produced for the game's PlayStation re-release, the character designs featured are based on Amano's designs. While character sprites in the earlier installments were less detailed on the map than they were in battle, Final Fantasy VI's sprites had an equally high resolution regardless of the screen. This enabled the use of animations depicting a variety of movements and facial expressions. Though it was not the first game to utilize the Super Nintendo's Mode 7 graphics, Final Fantasy VI made more extensive use of them than its predecessors. For instance, unlike both Final Fantasy IV and Final Fantasy V, the world map is rendered in Mode 7, which lends a somewhat three-dimensional perspective to an otherwise two-dimensional game. Subsection 2. Localization. The original North American localization and release of Final Fantasy VI by Square for the Super Nintendo featured several changes from the original Japanese version. The most obvious of these is the change of the game's title, from Final Fantasy VI to Final Fantasy III. Because only two games of the series had been localized in North America at the time, Final Fantasy VI was distributed as Final Fantasy III to maintain naming continuity. Unlike Final Fantasy IV, which was first released in North America as Final Fantasy II, there are no major changes to gameplay, though several changes of content and editorial adjustments exist in the English script. In a January 1995 interview with Super Play magazine, translator Ted Woolsey explains that, quote, there's a certain level of playfulness and sexuality in Japanese games that just doesn't exist here in the USA, basically because of Nintendo of America's rules and guidelines, end quote. Consequently, objectionable graphics, for example nudity, were censored, and building signs in towns were changed, as well as religious allusions, for example the spell holy was renamed pearl. Also, some direct allusions to death, killing actions, and violent expressions, as well as offensive words, have been replaced by softer expressions. 
For example, after Edgar, Locke, and Terra flee on chocobos from Figaro Castle, Kefka orders two Magitek-armored soldiers to chase them by shouting, Go! Kill them! In the Japanese version, it was translated as, Go! Get them! Also, when Imperial troopers burn Figaro Castle, and Edgar claims Terra is not hidden inside the castle, Kefka replies, quote, then you can burn to death, end quote, in the Japanese version, which was replaced in the English version by, quote, then welcome to my barbecue, end quote. Similarly, as Magitek soldiers watch Edgar and his guests escape on chocobos, one swears in Japanese, quote, son of a bitch, end quote, which was translated by Ted Woolsey as, quote, son of a submariner, end quote. The localization also featured changes to several names, such as Tina, being changed to Terra. Finally, dialogue text files had to be shortened due to the limited data storage space available on the game cartridge's read-only memory. As a result, additional changes were rendered to dialogue in order to compress it into the available space. This translation was done in only 30 days by Wilsey alone. The PlayStation re-release featured only minor changes to the English localization. The title of the game was reverted back to Final Fantasy VI from Final Fantasy III to unify the numbering scheme of the series in North America and Japan with the earlier release of Final Fantasy VII. A few items and character names were adjusted, as in the expansion of Phoenix Down to Phoenix Down. Unlike the PlayStation re-release of Final Fantasy IV included in the later Final Fantasy Chronicles compilation, the script was left essentially unchanged. The Game Boy Advance re-release featured a new translation by a different translator, Tom Slattery. The translation preserved most of the character names, location names, and terminology from the Woolsey translation, but changed item and spell names to match the conventions used in more recent titles in the series. The revised script preserved certain quirky lines from the original while changing or editing others, and it cleared up certain points of confusion in the original translation. Section 4. Music The soundtrack for Final Fantasy VI was composed by longtime series contributor Nobuo Uematsu. The score consists of themes for each major character and location, as well as music for standard battles, fights with boss enemies, and for special cutscenes. The extensive use of leitmotif is one of the defining points of the audio tracks. The aria di mezzo catiare, Karatere is one of the latter tracks played during a cutscene involving an opera performance. This track features an unintelligible synthesized voice that harmonizes with the melody, as technical limitations for the SPC 700 sound format chip prevented the use of an actual vocal track, although some developers eventually figured out how to overcome this limitation a few years later. The orchestral album Final Fantasy VI Grand Finale features an arranged version of the aria, using Italian lyrics performed by Svelta Krasteva with an orchestral accompaniment. This version is also found in the ending full-motion video of the game's Sony PlayStation re-release, with the same lyrics but a different musical arrangement. In addition, the album Orchestral Game Concert 4 includes an extended version of the opera, arranged and conducted by Kosuke Onozaki, and performed by the Tokyo Symphony Orchestra, featuring Wakako Aokimi, Tetsuya Ono, and Hiroshi Kuroda on vocals. It was also performed at the Moore Friends concert at the Gibson Amphitheater in 2005, using a new English translation of the lyrics, an album of which is now available. Dancing Mad, accompanying the game's final battle with Kefka, is 17 minutes long and contains an organ candenza, candenza with variations on Kefka's theme. The ending theme combines every playable character theme into one composition, lasting over 21 minutes. The original score was released on three compact discs in Japan as Final Fantasy VI Original Sound Version. A version of this album was later released in North America as Final Fantasy III, Kefka's Domain. This version of the album is the same as its Japanese counterpart, except for different packaging and small differences in the translation of some track names between the album and newer releases. Additionally, 
Final Fantasy VI Grand Finale features 11 tracks from the game, arranged by Shiro Sugisu and Su- Tsuniyoshi Saito, and performed by the ensemble Archie della Scala and Orchestra Sinfonica di Milano, the Milan Symphony Orchestra. Piano Collections, Final Fantasy VI, a second arranged album, features 13 tracks from the game, performed for piano by Reiko Nomura. More recently, Dancing Mad, the final boss theme from Final Fantasy VI, has been performed at Play, a video game symphony in Stockholm, Sweden, on June 2, 2007, by the group Mishane Supremacy. Section 5. Re-releases. Subsection 1. PlayStation. Final Fantasy VI was ported to the Sony PlayStation by TOSE and re-released by Square in Japan and North America during 1999. In Japan, it was available both individually and as part of Final Fantasy Collection, while it was only available as part of Final Fantasy Anthology in North America and individually in Europe. 50,000 limited edition copies of the Japanese version were also released in Japan and included a Final Fantasy-themed alarm clock. Final Fantasy VI's PlayStation re-release is very similar to the original Japanese release as seen on the Super Famicom, with the exception of the addition of two full motion video opening and ending sequences and new effects used for the start and end of battles. The graphics, music, and sound are left unchanged from the original version though some have noted the sound quality isn't as good as in the original. The only notable changes to gameplay, in addition to loading times not present in the cartridge versions, involve the correction of a few software bugs from the original, and the addition of a new Memo Save feature, allowing players to quickly save their progress to the PlayStation's RAM. The re-release included other special features, such as a bestiary and an artwork gallery. Subsection 2 Game Boy Advance. Final Fantasy VI was ported a second time by TOSE and re-released as Final Fantasy VI Advance by Square Enix in Japan on November 30, 2006, by Nintendo North America on February 5, 2007, and in Europe on June 29, 2007, for the Game Boy Advance. It includes additional gameplay features and enhanced visuals, as well as a retranslated script that follows Japanese naming conventions for the spells and monsters, but it does not feature the full motion videos from the PlayStation release of the game. Four new espers appear in this re-release, Levathian, Gilgamesh, Cactuar, and Diabolos. Two new areas include the Dragon's Den Dungeon, which includes the Kaiser Dragon, a monster coded but not included in the original, and a Soul Shrine, a place where the player can fight monsters continuously. Three new spells also appear, and several bugs from the original are fixed. In addition, similarly to the other handheld Final Fantasy re-releases, a bestiary and a music player are included. Interestingly, even in the Japanese version, the music player is in English and uses the American names, for example, Strago over Stragus. The package features new artwork by series veteran and original character and image designer Yoshitaka Amano. 6. Reception Final Fantasy VI received positive reviews from critics and was commercially successful. As of March 31, 2003, the game had shipped 3.48 million copies worldwide, with 2.62 million of those being copies shipped in Japan and 860,000 abroad. Final Fantasy Collection sold over 400,000 copies in 1999, making it the 31st best-selling release of that year in Japan. It received 54 out of 60 points from Weekly Famitsu, scored by a panel of six reviewers. Final Fantasy Anthology has sold approximately 364,000 copies in North America. The game garnered rave reviews upon its original release. GamePro rated it as 5 out of 5, stating that, quote, characters, plot lines, and multiple choice scenarios all combine to form one fantastic game, end quote. Electronic Gaming Monthly granted a 9 out of 10 and named it Game of the Month, commenting that, quote, RPGs with this this much depth 
and realism come once in a blue moon, end quote. It won several awards from Electronic Gaming Monthly in their 1994 Video Game Awards, including Best Music for a Cartridge-Based Game, Best Role-Playing Game, and Best Japanese Role-Playing Game. Additionally, Electronic Gaming Monthly later ranked the game ninth in their 1997 list of the 100 greatest console games of all time. For their part, Nintendo Power declared the game, quote, the RPG hit of the decade, end quote, noting its improved sound and graphics over its predecessors and the game's broadened thematic scope. Moreover, they suggested that, quote, with so much story and variation of play, fans may become lost in the world for months at a time, end quote. In 1997, they ranked it as the eighth greatest Nintendo game, saying it, quote, had everything you could want, heroes, world-shattering events, magic, mindless evil, plus Interceptor the Wonder Dog, end quote. In April 2008, Screw Attack named Final Fantasy VI the third best SNES game, beaten only by The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and Super Metroid. The game was still earning rave reviews after the release of its PlayStation version, with GamePro and Electronic Gaming Monthly rating it 4 out of 5 and 9.5 out of 10, respectively. Nintendo Power again ranked it as one of the best Nintendo games in 2006, placing it as 13th on their Top 200 Games on, on a Nintendo Platform, suggesting it might be the best Final Fantasy ever. In 2005, multimedia news website IGN ranked Final Fantasy VI 56th on their list of the 100 greatest games as the second highest ranked Final Fantasy title on the list after Final Fantasy IV. IGN described the graphics of the PlayStation re-release as, quote, beautiful and stunning, end quote, reflecting that at the time of its release, quote, Final Fantasy III represented everything an RPG should be, end quote, inspiring statistic growth systems that would later influence titles like Wild Arms and Suikoden. Moreover, they praised its gameplay and storyline, claiming that these aspects took, quote, all preceding RPG concepts and either came up with something completely new or refined them enough to make them its own, end quote, creating an atmosphere in which, quote, players won't find it difficult to get past the simplistic graphics or seemingly outdated gameplay conventions and become involved, end quote. In an updated version of the Top 100 list in 2007, IGN ranked Final Fantasy VI ninth on the list, above all other Final Fantasy games in the series. They continued to cite the game's character development, and especially noted Kefka as, quote, one of the most memorable bad guys in RPG history, end quote. In 2009, Game Informer put the SNES version of Final Fantasy III eighth on their list of the top 200 games of all time, saying that it, quote, perfected the 2D role-playing game, end quote. Readers of the Japanese magazine Famitsu voted it as the 25th best game of all time in early 2006. RPG Gamer gave a perfect rating to both the original game and its PlayStation re-release, citing its gameplay as, quote, self-explanatory enough that most any player could pick up the game and customize their character's equipment, end quote, while praising its music as a 16-bit masterpiece. Alternatively, they described the game's sound effects as limited, and the game itself is lacking in replay value during, due to having, quote, one ending, one fundamental path through the plot, and mandatory side quests, end quote. Additionally, they regarded the game's English translation as, quote, unremarkable, end quote, being, quote, better than some, but worse than others, end quote, and offered similar comments for its gameplay difficulty. However, they referred to the game's storyline as its, quote, most unique aspect, end quote, citing its large cast of characters, quote, nearly all of whom receive a great deal of development, and the surprisingly large number of real-world issues, the vast majority of which have not been addressed by any RPG before or since, ranging from teen pregnancy to suicide, end quote. Overall, RPG Gamer regarded the game as an, quote, epic masterpiece, and truly one of the greatest games ever created, end quote. The game's latest release, for the Game Boy Advance, also garnered praise. 
In 2007, the Game Boy Advance re-release was named the 8th best Game Boy Advance game of all time, an IGN's feature reflecting on the Game Boy Advance's long lifespan. In 2009, Final Fantasy VI was inducted into the IGN Video Game Hall of Fame, becoming the second Final Fantasy game to do so. The only other Final Fantasy to do so was the original Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI took the number one spot on G4TV's top must-own RPGs list in 2008. In IGN's ranking of the Final Fantasy games, Final Fantasy VI took the number one spot as the best game in the series. Subsection 1. Legacy. Final Fantasy VI, the interactive CG game, also known as the Final Fantasy SGI Demo, or Final Fantasy X, which is not related to the actual 10th game in the Final Fantasy series, Final Fantasy X, was a short demonstration produced by Square using characters and settings from Final Fantasy VI. Produced using new Silicon Graphics Inc. SGI Onyx workstations acquired by Square, the demo was Square's first foray into 3D graphics, and many assumed that it was a precursor to a new Final Fantasy title for the Nintendo 64 video game console, which also used SGI hardware. Square, however, had not yet committed to Nintendo's console at the time of the demo's production, and much of the technology demonstrated in the demo was later put to use in the rendering of full motion video sequences for Final Fantasy VII and subsequent games for the PlayStation. The demo itself featured Tara Branford, Locke Cole, and Shadow in a series of battles. The game was controlled largely through mouse gestures, for example moving the cursor in the shape of a star would summon a dragon to attack. Section 7. References. There are references available in the written form of this article. Please be sure to verify information found on Wikipedia using the references provided or by cross-referencing the information yourself. Section 8. External links. In addition to the above, several external links have been listed for finding additional information online. We now come to the end of the spoken article, Final Fantasy VI. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the GNU Free Documentation License, available at www.gnu.org slash copyleft slash fdl.html.